I want to talk about five common mistakes that many of us make when planning and organizing our days. As a former medical student, I know how hard it can be to stay on top of everything. Between classes, studying, and trying to have some semblance of a social life, our days can quickly become overwhelming. Over the years, I've learned a few critical lessons about how not to plan my days, often the hard way. So in this video, I want to share those mistakes with all of you to help you avoid some productivity pitfalls. Let's grab a cup of tea and dive right in. Mistake number one is not planning at all. I know this may seem obvious, but it's easy to underestimate the power of sitting down for even just five or 10 minutes at the beginning of each day to map out a basic schedule. Without a plan, it's far too easy to jump aimlessly from one task to the next, never feeling fully focused or productive. Here's what I mean. Back in my first year of medical school, I rarely planned out my days in advance. I figured I knew what I needed to get done each day, so why write it all out? But I often felt too scattered, moving from studying to errands to class, but never fully present in each task. By the end of the day, I felt exhausted, but also like I hadn't accomplished much meaningful work. It was only when I started taking just a few minutes each morning to write out a schedule for that day that I realized the power of planning. Having a simple hour-by-hour -hour outline helped me visualize my priorities and focus much better throughout the day. I got more done and felt less stressed, so don't skip the planning step even if you feel like you know what's on your plate. The clarity and focus that come from putting your day down on paper are invaluable. Mistake number two is planning too rigidly. This is one I saw a lot of my fellow students make. In an attempt to optimize every minute, they plot out an ambitious minute-by-minute -minute schedule from sunrise to sunset. Every class, every errand, and every study session is meticulously documented. And in theory, this sounds great. But in reality, life always throws us curveballs, unexpected errands, last minute changes in schedules, and friends going through crises. As diligent as we may be about planning, things will come up that force us to deviate from even the best laid plans. When I first started planning out my days, I'd agonize over sticking to my schedule down to the letter. A friend asking to grab coffee would totally throw off my morning. But over time, I realized that some flexibility is key. Now, I schedule in a buffer between most tasks, knowing that timelines often slip, and I don't beat myself up when life intervenes. The goal of planning your day is clarity not rigid perfectionism. Leave room for the unexpected, and you'll avoid frustration when your best laid plans go awry. Mistake number three is not differentiating between high priority and low priority tasks. In school, it's easy to fall into the trap of busyness, where you're constantly checking items off your to-do list, but not necessarily the most critical items. When I started planning my days, my schedules were jam-packed with back-to-back -back activities, with no differentiation between mundane and crucial tasks. Sure, I was busy all the time. However, I wasn't focusing enough mental energy on the skills and knowledge most essential to my studies and future career. It was only when I started actively categorizing tasks each day into high, medium, and low priority buckets that my productivity really took off. I realized that certain activities like going deep into my anatomy textbook were much more valuable uses of time compared to lower stakes tasks, like meticulously organizing notes. Figure out what's genuinely essential to your learning and goals and make sure to plan time for those crucial items first before filling your schedule with less essential to-dos. It's one of the most impactful things you can do to work smarter, not just harder. Mistake number four is not planning time for rest and recovery. Given how jam-packed our school schedules are, it's tempting to feel like we should schedule every single minute from sunrise to sunset. But burning the candle at both ends is never sustainable. Without adequate rest and resets, we're far more prone to stress, fatigue, and burnout. In my first year, there were many weeks where my calendar was a wall-to-wall -wall list of obligations, from classes to study sessions to extracurriculars. I figured I could power through and catch up on sleep when exams were over. Not a great plan, in retrospect. It wasn't until I started deliberately blocking out time in my daily schedule for rest, things like taking a long lunch break, getting to the gym, or just relaxing with friends, that my energy levels became more sustainable. Don't underestimate the power of rest to produce your best work. Build time into each day and week for activities that recharge you, whether that's exercise, time in nature, hobbies, or just sleeping in. You'll be amazed at the boost it provides. Finally, mistake number five is planning solo. As motivated and optimistic as we may feel about our schedules, it's all too easy to get off track and abandon our plans when we try to execute them alone, day after day. Planning only works if you have structures and accountability partners to help you stick to it when motivation lags. In the beginning, I made my daily schedules alone, figuring I didn't need anyone else's input, and this worked temporarily when I had a lot of enthusiasm for my new planning habits. But over time, it was easy to stop following my plans when I hit inevitable moments of frustration. It wasn't until I started planning my weeks and days collaboratively by syncing up with fellow students, friends, and family that I had the accountability to actually stick to my plans. Leveraging companionship and peer motivation kept me on track even when solo motivation dipped. So find those partners, whether classmates, friends, or family members, who can support you in executing your plans and schedules. 
the social piece is invaluable for following through. There you have it. Five common mistakes to avoid when planning and scheduling your days as a busy student. Dodging these pitfalls has made a huge difference in my productivity and focus over the years. I hope putting some of these lessons into practice helps all of you organize your days like a pro while still avoiding burnout. Let me know in the comments what planning mistakes you've made in the past and what strategies have worked well for you. If you enjoyed this video, you might like this other one in which I talk about essential productivity tips for students. See you there.